The giant horse conch weighs over 11 pounds. That's a lot of mollusk. That's a lot of mollusk. That's a lot of mollusk.
But right now, the nightmare of losing one's entire family is almost unimaginable. Most of us did our guest, Don Groton, was forced to face just such a tragedy eight months ago when his wife and two sons were killed by a drunk driver. Don, thank you so much for being with us this morning. Thank you, dude. I'm just trying to hang in there. Well, you've been so great. As you may already know, Don, Today Now has partnered with Rivals of Hope, a charitable foundation which donates miniature therapy courses to those who are grieving. And Don, you are our next lucky recipient. Derek, come on out. Don, you've endured so much. It's time to let us take the reins. Sandals for me. That's right. Miniature horses are specially trained to help ease emotional pain. From now on, you'll have this horse's comforting presence in your home 24 hours a day. We're well, living in our park. Oh, we know that, Don, because today now just delivered 400 bushels of oats there free of charge. Thank you. I'm not sure I can handle a horse like that. Most of our recipients find having to constantly feed and clean up after moving to work becomes kind of a daily regimen. I don't know a lot of success with bridles of hope in the past. It was Corey who lost his mother to a brain tumor and the Johnsons who still spoke. Look, this would be great for one of this, but I, I don't. Thanks. Sorry. Do you want to ease your pain, Doc? Yeah, I guess somehow. Yeah, sure. But... That's right. We've named her after your beautiful wife. What? And the miracles don't stop there either, Doc. Not only are you getting a new bar, but Riders of Hope are donating three horses to make up for each family member you lost. We've already loaded Kevin and Joseph, your children, and your three is outside. Oh, God, it's Lord's favorite scarf. Do you recognize it? No, I don't want these horses. It's not going to work. I just want to be alone. See that in front of the world. Ooh. Ooh. I can guarantee that you would be okay. I don't think we can kill this. If they can get by in time. 